I think that in a lot of ways, talent is seen as something you have physically. But to reach the top, it isn't enough. To become a good athlete, you need to have your priorities quite straight. My mom was also my coach. I think that she quite early pushed the importance of training and doing a little extra. I'm quite small, so I'm not like the strongest player, but I was lucky enough to, at quite a young age, play in a very good team. But then I heard from someone that it will be hard for her because of her height. We play a contact sport and things happen. You need to have good sprinting. You need to have quite good endurance. You need to be strong to take all the hits. I'm a playmaker, so I feel like there's a lot of pressure to fix things. It is a lot about finding solutions with the speed. I think maybe the change of rhythm is what is really extreme here. What really keeps me up at night is when the attack doesn't work, when we don't find solutions. And then I use a lot of time fixing that in my head the days and nights after. <laughs> I am a player who takes a lot of responsibility for the team performance but it's important to actually remember the team and not be stuck with your own insecurities. You just need to find your qualities and you make them as good as you can for the team. I think that if I'm really nervous about a game, I try to like stop myself a little, if it's in the locker room or whatever it is, like look around and I think like, Phew. but actually I have her on my team. You know, I would, Phew. I have her as well. I'm, I'm not alone. Throughout the championship, it's a very intense month. The less noise around you, the better. You have this focus. My job now is to be a handball player. My job somehow is to be as fit and prepped as possible for what's coming. Talent is a good starting point. But you can actually push from even nothing and come a lot further than what talent can do.